Hi guys. So today I will talk about Citrix. So let me go to next slide. So uh, today I will talk about Citrix VDI. So Citrix VDI enable the organization to easily uh, allow their employees to access their corporate resources remotely, but in secure manner. Okay. So today, uh, if you see uh, this entire structure, uh, today I will talk about the Citrix component so that you should get familiar with that. And then in next session, I will talk about the flow of this entire architecture. Okay. So uh, first thing we will talk about a Nestler gateway. So Nestler gateway work as a uh, your uh, load balancer. Okay. Uh, you can also uh, install a certificate on this Nestler. So SSO offloading also happen on this. Then the next component is the store fund. So store fund you can take example as a uh, your web UI. So, so what a request user saying to Citrix. Okay, so the store fund has accept that request and based on the requirement of user, store fund send this information to delivery controller and then uh, that store fund published information to user. Okay, now the next part about delivery controller. Delivery controller is the heart of this entire architecture. Delivery controller controls the, all the components. Okay, if you see the architecture, you can see that delivery controller connect to each and every component overall, right? So any request, when you go to come to the delivery controller, delivery controller has to handle that request. Uh, you, you can reach to the particular component and get the information and share back to store fund. Okay. Then uh, the next component we're talking about the hypervisor. Hypervisor is, plays a very important role because uh, hypervisor, you can take example of uh, Hyper-V, uh, VMware ESXi or uh, Zen server. Over here, we spin up the virtual machines. Okay. The virtual machine don't talk with the delivery controller. Okay. Initially. What you do in that case, you install the VDA agent, uh, virtual delivery agent inside the virtual machine. After that, you start register with the delivery controller. Okay. And this VDA get assigned to user or map to user. Got it. And then if you go down, it's a SQL server. All right. So it store the configuration information, it store the session information of the user. For that purpose, they use a SQL server. If, if I go to top, right, you can see Active Directory. So Active Directory, I think it's, it, is a, uh, it is a central center repository where you can do authorization authentication. So any request come to, uh, to this Active Directory, it will check whether that user exists into the Active Directory or not. Okay, and based on that, it provides the authorization authentication. Okay, and then uh, this is a DNS server. DNS server is just used for the uh, naming convention or naming, uh, naming uh, conversion, right? Then uh, you can see a, a studio. So studio is a self-service UI kind of, it is a kind of GUI, uh, which is help you to, to configure the, uh, the desktop or application, okay? Which is being used by the user. And then uh, a director, again, it is a kind of monitoring tool, uh, which is the use, right? Again, it's an optional tool. If you want to take it, uh, you can use it. Otherwise uh, you can leave it also. Then the license server. Again, it's an important part because license server is provide license to user. Okay, when uh, the when the VM uh, or when the desktop assigned to the to the particular user, right? And then the provisioning server. The name suggests it is it is it is used to provision a new uh, VDA for the any new user. Okay, so delivery control center information to provisioning server, and then it 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 gets spin up. Okay, and then uh, it uh, it uh, allocate that VM to the uh, user, right? Or VDA to the user, and then we have DSCP. DSCP is a nothing but IP allocation pool where uh, when the VM provisioning server spin up the VM, that time it takes the IP from the DSCP and that IP is allocated to that VM or the VDA agent in that way. Okay. So I think I have just give you a brief in introduction of each and every component. Okay. So 